right, well, we're here at a new spot today. We're doing some new digs. Heck yeah, look at all this workings. We're in the hot spots here. These are some pits that have been prospected out. And uh, let's get you down on the ground over here and show you where we're gonna be working. Hope you are ready to come along on this adventure. It's gonna be awesome. Mineralization in there. Oh yeah. That's what I'm looking for right there. Let's go get that gold. Right, so uh, here is a really good example. Take a look at all this black sand on the top. This is actually dry. Look at that mica shift. Bam. I don't know if the sun will pick that up. The sparkle. Oh yeah, it does. That's some beautiful stuff. Look at all that black sand though. But uh, this is my first time out here, checking out this new area. And I actually could bring the dry washer right down here, but this is a pretty crazy canyon as you might've seen from the drone footage. But there um, is lots of potential here. And I wanna see if I can find some bigger pieces of gold before I bring down some equipment uh, and invest the energy. So let's go nugget hunting. Got the SDC 2300. Let's go for it. First target right there, piece of metal. But look, there's bedrock right there. So, good signs. There's targets all around here. It's full of black sand. And that's all it is. So this is gonna be a crazy trip. Uh, we're gonna dig a lot of targets. So look for some bedrock outcroppings. But it looks like the, the bedrock's shallow. Really good dry washing material. Let's get after it. Target number two. Here we go. A wire. Another piece of metal. Something chewed up by the cows or something. Got another case or something, another metal target. That sounded really good too. All right, I'm gonna move on down. Let's go. Hey, uh, Jason, over there uh, in uh, Flower Gold Wizards, what'd you say about the beach mining? Holy shit. <gasps> That's bedrock, bro. Ooh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have to get some of this black sands and bring it home. Look at all this bedrock and all these cracks, man. You gotta get in there. Gotta get the dry washer out here. <sighs> Look at these rivers of black sand. Oh my God. Right on bedrock too. I'm getting a target right in here. I'm gonna stop fumbling around with the phone. I'm gonna dig it and see if there's anything in there. Right, nothing yet, but I've been, whew. Look at that. I wanna grab some samples of that stuff. Crushing up. Been checking all this bedrock. Whew. Nice and warm now. I am. It's not hot. It's just. Whew. Check this out. This may be my first piece of gold with this metal detector. It's banging right off the bottom of that. And it's pretty deep. It could be trash. But uh, I'm going to keep digging and see what it is. Pretty deep. Everything else has been on the surface. 
All right, that didn't take long. More trash. It all looks like it's off the same thing. Huh. All right. All right, well, we're back here out on the Yuba. 2022 fall. Let's go, Vendetta Prospecting. We're out here in Arizona. <laughs> this ain't the Yuba, I wish. You better believe you've been getting to the bottom of this hole. Might be saying, hey, Mike, why don't you uh, go ahead and detect all that? Well, I mean, yeah. Along with, like, everyone else. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But seriously, like, this has probably been super pounded hard. You know, the best thing would be to move these flaps up <laughs> if you could they're huge though i mean these are like sluice riffles look check that out you know you imagine how much gold was found right in these trenches back in the day just full just freaking full of nuggets man all right let's get down here and we got another big waterfall this time i gotta go down this way though hopefully we don't run into a snake Looks pretty easy to pass, though. You know, just walk down it. That's all. Oh, sorry. I'm doing this with no hands. Okay, ow, got caught. Not supposed to get hurt. Stupid thorn bush. All right, look at there. Some nice packed material in there. It's pretty sandy though. Definitely see some cow activity back in the past when that had some water in it. But the force of that, I mean, it's so hard that, it, look how much material it pushes up and out of here. It's, just a big boil hole. You know, over here is, this is where they got all the good stuff right out through here. Oops, I dropped my scoop. But look at all those black sands. Yep, no one's moved that stuff in a while. I'm gonna keep mosey on down. I have a target that I'm uh, going down here that I saw on the map, so I'll keep going. Check it out, look at that. Look at that riffle jammed in there. Oh, that is stuck, dude. Get my crafting tool and get that out of there, but I mean, this is definitely bustable bedrock that's got freaking packed gravels in there. It's tiny gravels, and I'm sure at one point it's been broken into a little bit. I mean, look, it's a it's a waterfall again. Hey, golly, man. Out here on the Arizona Yuba. All right, well, uh, we haven't had any luck yet today. We've been in a couple good solid hours at least. I'm gonna get a bucket of black sands from some bedrock spots that we saw up there. And we're gonna go back to the house because we can't get skunk today. We need at least one piece of shiny. Uh, so we're gonna harvest some black sands and then uh, we'll run that back at the house. So we'll see you uh, back at the truck first. Go get that black sands. And then uh, we'll come back to the house and show you if we can find any any shiny for this trip uh, but man this place is crazy beautiful i mean i'm sitting in another waterfall but yeah arizona baby no gold but yeah Look at that. Oh man, that is spicy, A3. Ooh.
Oh man, there's a look at the bucket. And I'm gonna pan it out. All right, I'm gonna pan a couple of these pans out. I'd like to sluice this because it's almost all black sand, but I'm not gonna do that right now. I just wanna see if there's any color here. This was just right off the top, <laughs> but it's gonna take me a little bit of time and I'll catch up with you when we get down to the end of the pan here. Just one pan first, let's see if there's any gold. This is what we're working with here. I mean, it's pretty, pretty insane. I'll zoom you guys out. So, I mean, if there's gold in here, I'm definitely losing some. I'm just trying to see if I can find any color to see if it's going to be worthwhile to go back and dry, dry wash. I'm thinking it's going to be worthwhile. I mean, this was right out of the easy, loose material. It's mostly sandy, but I feel like there's some benches that haven't been worked outside of right outside of the creek there. But I'm going to get down here and see if there's any gold. Well, uh, <laughs> um, I can tell you one thing. There's gold. <laughs> oh, man. It, I saw one super fine piece of gold and some lead. Let's see if I can get some of these soap suds off of here. And flip it back for you guys. It's sorry for the poor camera work. It's really difficult. There's the there's a piece of lead falling out. There's some gold right there. Camera, look. There's gold. There's some gold right there. Oh yeah. Oh, there's another piece. There's another piece. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, so that was just a really quick, that was a really quick pan of, you know, maybe a pound or two of some material. It's crazy solid black sands. There's that piece of lead again. Um. Anyways, it's really hard to do this with a Garrett Super Sluice and a pan of black sands. Probably lost some gold there, but there's gold there, baby. I got that whole bucket to go through. It's just solid, solid, but I'd expect a trip back there if I were you guys. Stay tuned.